Hi, I'm Diego Llanos, your student body president. And I'm Michael Tunstall, your student body vice president, and we're here to tell you about Spirit Week. Spirit Week is a week dedicated to showing your tiger pride in honor of homecoming week. Starting October 11th, we have Monday, which is Disco Day or Breast Cancer Awareness Day, where you can take a blast to the past and wear 70s wear or wear pink. Tuesday, we have Generation Day or Tie-Dye Day, where you can dress up as senior citizens, middle-aged adults, college students, or babies. On Wednesday, we have Pop Culture Day or Jersey Day, where you can dress up as your favorite internet sensation or rep your favorite team. Thursday, we have Throwback Day or Twin Day, where you can dress in styles of the past or twin with your dynamic duo. And Friday, we have Black Hour Animal Print for Homecoming. Dress code today? Yes, ma'am. Um, what but do you, why? But why? Yes. So dress code says that first of all we shouldn't have any any holes in our attire above the mid the midline. Okay? So this right here is just not appropriate. Okay? So I definitely don't want to see those jeans anymore this year. Okay? Ma'am? Yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And if you have something that you can change into, that'll help. And if you don't have something, Miss Smith has some scrubs for you. Okay? Have a good day. You too. Hey, young man, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'll speak to you a second. Sure. You know who goes out wearing hoodies in the hallway for safety purposes? Yeah. And then why are you doing that, young man? Because it's cold in here. Well, I'm burning up. Look, I'm short, so you sure I appreciate if you take your hoodie off. That way you can hear the announcements and, and follow the dress code. What do you think? think that's a good deal? Yeah, I guess. Okay, well, stick it down, please. Thank you, young man. Have a good day. Hey, man, what you doing? Oh, I'm just trying to pull the fire alarm. No, nah, man, you can't do that. You know, you get suspended from school. 10 days, and then I got to charge you with a felony charge, you know? And then we got to pay the fine to the state, and then also we got to recoup that, and then you got to pay the fine back since the school had to pay, you know? Okay. Yeah, man, that's how it goes, okay? All right, maybe next All right. time I'll do that. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. Hello, my name is Thomas Fulmore. I am your 12th grade administrator, assistant principal, and testing coordinator. I'm here to talk about the importance of being safe here at school. Fire alarms are put in place to keep us all safe. They should not be played with, tampered with, or pulled other than emergencies. Please understand that there are serious consequences that go along with pulling the fire alarm. Our new policies if the alarm is pulled or if the alarm goes off, all students are to remain in their desk until the teacher notifies them that they have to evacuate the building. Once again, I want to remind everyone that the fire alarms are put in place to keep us safe. Please do not tamper, pull, or play with any alarms. Thank you. Hi. I'm Denise Murguia and I teach dance here at Southview High School. I went to Webster University after I was dancing professionally as an international ballerina for several years. And then I went to Webster and then of course uh, I got my certificate in teaching dance because that is actually my passion. I love to teach dance. I love to dance and anything about it. I love dance period. Hello, good day. My name is uh, Ruel G. Villarosa. I'm a math teacher. Um, I came all over the Philippines to teach here. And I have been a math teacher for 10 years. I graduated master's degree in mathematics. I believe that uh, teaching requires a lot of patience in teaching students. So I, it's, it's been a great honor to be here in the Southview High School 
to share my experiences, my insights, and my views and the values as well to teach uh, students in high school. One thing I'm trying to do before I graduate is get some ribbons in JRTC. The one thing I want to do before I graduate is just uh, maintain good grades the whole year. One thing I want to do before I graduate is get promoted at my job. One thing I would like to do before I graduate is get on the slingshot right. Uh, so one thing I want to do before I graduate is volunteer at the hospital. One thing I want to do before I graduate is get my license. All right, one thing I want to do before I graduate is be on the football team. One thing I want to do before I graduate is fix my English grade and fix my GPA. Uh, one thing I want to do before I graduate is attend one of our football games. And before I graduate, I would like to get accepted into a college. One thing I want to do before I graduate is get my driver's license and also compete in disc golf.
59 to nothing. And those guys were on their feet the entire Hey, there they go right here. Hey. You got the fuck back. Oh, God. 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 Oh,